Hello, I'm Beverly Brunel. I'm an intuitive, a masterful energy worker, a channel, and I love working with individuals, groups, people. And when I work with people, I also work with the environment. I work with the ancestral lineage. I work with what we might call history, past lives. I believe in the experience at all time is now. That's why we can access everything and anything that's influencing us that's unseen, but is there acting as a filter into our interpretation of, of what's happening with words, with people's actions, with people's looks, the sound. It's like we are interpreters. That's what we do. We hear it, we see it, and we interpret what it means for us. It can get us into a lot of trouble because it's not, it's not very accurate. So my theme on this video is uh, what loyalties and labels have you become attached to? What loyalties and labels have attached to you? What's on your t-shirt? I'm a mom. I'm a father. I'm a CEO. I'm an expert in da da da, da. I am a I, I bring service in this area and arena of life. I am raising the consciousness of humanity. That's my title. Awesome. The question is, what limitations are you putting upon yourself by identifying with that? And what else is actually going on that is more you? That's an aspect of you. That's a, a, a compartment of your expertise, of your responsibility, but it's not all. Years ago, decades ago, when I was um, a new mom, I had been a teacher. I love teaching. And a lot of other things, labels, a fundraiser. And I had different, as it were, personas or personalities in each of those categories. So my assumption was, I feel like saying I don't know why, but it was from my upbringing and my observation and my interpretation of my viewpoint of what's a mother. I would watch my mom, my aunts, my neighbors, and so forth, lots of moms. How did they behave? How do they approach mothering? How do they approach their kids? Oh, and I stripped down who I thought I was into, oh, this is what a mother is supposed to be. I had to turn off different parts of myself to fit into my interpretation of what a mother should, could be. She can't go out dancing and have a wild good time on a Saturday night. She can't, da 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 da. She can't. It's not appropriate. Really? Who made that up? We have a wide variety of aspects of who we are. Work. I am this expert. Great. Yes, you are. And you're also a man. You're also a woman. You're also a human being that has many qualities and genius aspects that can be integrated from these different labels, these different compartments of our life into the whole. So we aren't cup compartmentalizing. We are approaching our uh, the different aspects of our of our focus. Here we go, of our focus. We can integrate all aspects of us, our creativity, our genius, our broad perspectives. We can integrate it into the different moments of the day, the different tasks and responsibilities that are before us, and not limit us by leaving out aspects of who we are, like leaving out our humor when we're at work or leaving out our humor when we're parenting. Humor can add life to any given situation. So I just pose this, um, these concepts to, for you to ponder, to notice where have you been limiting yourself by labeling, by being loyal to your interpretation of the label that you've given yourself in the different times of your life. Student artist, beginner, intermediate expert. How does it feel to put yourself in those categories and to, in a sense, squeeze down the space that you are living in and living from? How would it feel to notice, oh, right now I'm taking care of this job. 
I'm being responsible for these people, for these children, for my coworkers. And I am also an amazing human being with many qualities that I can bring to this when I let go of the tightness of my interpretation of the label that I've given myself or other people have given me. Oh, you're so-and-so's mom. Whoop, label. This must mean this. This must mean that. Yes, and I am also more. Allowing the more to come in, allowing the more to seep into and through to your experience of yourself and your experience of the people that you're with. How delightful would that be? So I invite you to close your eyes as we, I take you on a journey of moving beyond the labels, of letting go of the loyalties, calling your energy from the loyalties that have been limiting you and supporting a greater freedom to explore the actualities, the possibilities of you being delightfully you. So again, close your eyes. Oh, give your spine and your head and your neck some gentle circular movement. <laughs> and bring your awareness and your pondering and your wondering. Bring that attention down into your heart space and just notice your breathing. Mm. And as we all take a few breaths together, I invite your awareness to come down into your heart space, noticing the sensations that are arising there, or maybe even the stillness that is arising there. And I invite a scenario, a situation, a relationship or a label, oh, that's better, a label that you have put upon yourself or you have been placed, you've been given that t-shirt for. And let's notice what limitations does it bring? What limitations do you interpret that label to mean about you? I'm a dancer, I'm a DJ, I'm a writer, I'm a counselor. I'm a driver, I'm a walker, I'm a shopper. Relaxing your expectation, just notice what label wants to come to you to be explored in this moment. Oh, here we go. And let's call to you all your interpretation, all your belief systems that you've developed and fine-tuned and refined over your whole lifetime and maybe all other lifetimes regarding that topic, that label. Let's call all your energy free, clear, and through to disengage your interpretive energy, to disengage from those structures. So there's more of you here now to wonder, to ponder, to explore what it's like to bring more of you to that situation, to free up the structures that are holding you in a certain space and place of behavior, of expectation and to free it up to allow more of you to show up, more of you to add your creative perspective, your creative juices, your creative momentum to this scenario. Notice what that feels like in your body as there's this energetic shift in frequencies. We're upgrading and updating the frequencies within you and your perceptions to be more available to what is truly more you. So that any limitation you've interpreted can ex relax its hold on you, that you can relax your loyalty to your own interpretations or to ha perhaps to the interpretations that have been placed upon you, projected upon you. <laughs> like the job title, the job description. Here's your job description. Nothing more, nothing less. Mm -hmm. So anywhere that you've shut down your creativity, turned off your unique flow of genius, of joy and delight in doing what you do, of adding new qualities of presence to your position. Yeah, it's a good one. You could be a, being a parent, being a partner, the appropriateness of when you're on a date, when you have a client, a customer, 
you meet someone you haven't seen for a long time or someone new. Relaxing the protocol, the structure, just enough to allow that creative wisdom in you to come forth, to blossom into the dynamic. Good. Very good. Lovely. So take a few deep breaths. Notice what and how you're feeling in your body. And then bring your attention to that original label, that original title that you explored, that you just explored and created shifts with to notice the difference of the before and after, of how you feel toward that label, that loyalty now. Do you notice more freedom? More relaxation, perhaps? A more expanded version? Not, not so tightly um, defined? And let's invite, if you would like, more joy and delight in your experience of you being more wholly you in this scenario, in this um, aspect of your life. Giving yourself permission, ooh, permission to explore the possibilities of who you are in a greater way in this situation, scenario, relationship that you uh, just explored. How fun is that going to be? So let's integrate all this throughout dimensions and frequencies of existence and, and beyond, throughout the hologram of your being and beyond, throughout eternity and beyond, and beyond the beyond, that you s notice what's new that you allow yourself new freedom to explore who you are. And adding this, these new qualities, as it were, into life itself, to be the generator of consciousness into your relationships with whomever you're with, and into the world, into humanity. Enjoy the journey. Open your eyes. Be in the room. There is much before you. If you'd like to have a private session with me to explore even further, check out my website, BeverlyBrunel.com. Take care.